Hi guys, uh, welcome to Adnan Khan's channel and I hope you've been doing good. I'm doing fantastic as well. So I wanted to bring you one of my projects that I was working on and that was flashing an ATI card. So um, I bought this card a couple of months ago and uh, came across a couple of websites that I worked on. Um, tried netcast script as well but failed but somehow I came across a ROM that kind of worked for me. So before we go ahead I just wanted to bring a disclaimer here that I am not going to be responsible for anything happens to your graphics card. You solely understand that what you're doing and uh, by watching this video and following the method that I'm going to tell you, you guys understand the consequences you're going to have. Um, but having said that, it's um, you need your old graphics card, which I had the ATI one. And with, with the help of that, I was able to install Windows on my Mac 5.1. And that's the graphics card I basically chose. It, it was a Sapphire HD 7950. Uh, it's a it's a boost graphics card. Uh, if you, I can show you just here. It's a dual X graphics card. So basically, the ROM that I'm going to put in my description will work with this one for sure. Uh, the reason behind it because I've been testing it. I try testing it with HDMI and DVI and both works. I can prove you that as well, but um, just wanted to make sure that you guys understand that if you got the HDI 7950, sorry, HD 7950 ATI Sapphire card, you will be able to work with this. Okay, so this is Sapphire graphics card from the close-up it's got um, HD 7950 with the Tri-X software and as you can see it comes with the two fans um, I will also show you the side of it how does which ports are in there so here we've got um, two DVI one HDMI and one DP port and that's the serial number you are looking for. If you can pause it here and have a look, it's a HD7950 3G with boost. Okay, so now we're gonna flash the card. We are in Windows and the folders that you need is ATI flash folder and the other one is a YouTube ROM that I am gonna upload on my description. So if you go to the browser, could be anyone, just type ATI flash tool. And uh, then we're gonna select the tech power up one, ATI flash. So depending on the version you've got, uh, they keep constantly updated. That's the URL I'm gonna put it. So we're gonna be downloading Windows 10 87 32 bit one. You got the option of doing the DOS one or Linux 64 one, but we're gonna stick to the Windows 64 bit process. So select any server you like and instantly you get a download. So you can extract the files. I've already extracted, so I'm gonna just close this and uh, show you the folder. So right now, we, this is the folder you're gonna be treated with. So it comes up with the file amdvb flash win. So always run as a administrator. So here we are, uh, before you do anything, you need to save your ROM. So press the save button here and uh, go in anywhere, go in your documents and save this as your original ROM. The image is saved. Now it's time to flash it so you can 
go to the file that I'm going to upload. In my case, it's the YouTube 7950 one. We open it and then we're going to press program. So obviously it won't let me do it because it's uh, technically same one and uh, you can see all the description and everything matches. So even if I'll try, it won't let me do it, but um, that's the one that's working for it. So after it's done, you can press OK and then it will ask you for a restart. Okay, so after the restart, uh, the Windows is going to go back to the Mac. And this time, instead of seeing a black screen, you will be greeted with the white screen. And all you need to do is press and hold the Alt button, and then you'll be greeted with these options. So you can just select the Mac, which I just did right now, and it will take me to the Mac Mojave because I've installed that one. Okay, so right now I'm in a Mojave and let me just show you about the Mac. As you can see, uh, it's got AMD Radeon HD 7950, three gig recognized properly. So, uh, which is fantastic. And if I go in a system preferences, you can see here the PCI card is recognized and you know, getting the full five uh, gigabytes and with 16x speed so it's working as it should be so as you can see right now i have got my hdmi working too but um the one that's connected with dvi is not working that understandable because it's only going to give you one display so um it has been a success. I just wanted to share with you guys uh, if you've got the same card. Maybe you can load Windows and Mac together with the boot screen, which is fantastic. And now I've got both the boot screen coming up here. I'm over the moon. Trust me, I've spent so much time trying to create that uh, ROM file and it just kept on failing on me and there we go Windows is loaded okay now the troubleshooting part if you run into a problem what you can do uh, the simplest way is just press the profile button let me just zoom it this is the profile button where you need to go into your second profile load the windows as normally and then what you need to do once you're back on the windows you need to press that profile button again and that should bring you to the profile number one then you load the image you uh, where you saved on your documents and then just you press the program button and what that will do that will bail you out from the problem and uh, you will get your old profile back so unfortunately if that method doesn't work there's not much we can do about it besides the netcast script and uh, but thank you for watching if this video helped you please uh, do subscribe my channel it really helps me and uh, give me some ideas if you want me to make some videos for the future and i shall see you soon so take care of yourself guys bye bye